All right, thank you so much, Ashley. And we're going to continue our severe weather team coverage this afternoon where the wet roads have caused an absolute mess on I-20 closer to Smith County. Our Jesus Martinez is live in Lindale where he can see a portion of the wrecks along I-20. Jesus, what can you see? What can you tell us? Charnay, let me tell you, here within the last 30 minutes or so, Interstate 20 is back open, traffic is flowing like normal. But on our way here earlier, there were about five to four, or four to five accidents within a mile away from each other. One of them being an 18 wheeler jackknife. Now, Charnay, we saw lots of rain this morning, much needed rain, but a little too much. We started off our morning in Southwest Tyler on Graham Drive, where a large branch fell on top of a power line and even a car. I spoke to the neighbors before we went on air, and they tell us that they got to walk into the sound of the tree falling into their car, even their power going out. Now take a look at this video from Winona we saw earlier. Street flooding across the town, cars making waves with the wheels from the pony water on the streets. And all this, like I said earlier, caused at least 12 crashes in Smith County today. DPS says only a couple of minor injuries. There could be uh, oil and things like that on the roadways that can make it even more slick. People don't. Uh, realize that, but um, that's that's an important thing to remember. Um, so yeah, watch your speed, uh, increase the distance between you and the cars in front of you. Obviously, uh, wear your seat belt and uh, do all you can to to pay attention. And pay and paying attention is what bus drivers at Emory Reigns ISD did. They actually had to cancel school today because of so many flooded roadways across the district. That the bus driver said, "Hey." It's just too dangerous to get the kids out here. And Chardé, rain is starting to pick up here a little bit, and I know it's going to pick up throughout the rest of the afternoon as well. So Textile is recommending drivers be with their way on and off the roads as well. Live in Lindo, Jesus Martinez, CBS Night TV. All right, thank you so much, Jesus. And look at this. Earlier this morning, city officials in Gilmer closed off Holly Road after a portion of the road there was washed out and trees had fallen down. A CBS 19 crew was able to be there earlier this morning to capture these photos you're seeing right there on your screen.